I'm going to show you how you can add jumper wires to a NeoPixel or addressable LED strip. All right, so here's my finished product. I've got my, my strip here, and you can see the arrows. My wires are attached to the end where the arrows are pointing away from them. And that is important because I want to use these wires to attach them to a board. And so I need this board to send data to these NeoPixels. And in order for that to work, it needs to go that direction. I could solder wires to this end, but that would be if I wanted to attach you know, another strip and I need to make sure that my arrows are lined up. You know, if I wanted these to come back this direction, like I wanted them to, the lights to go that direction, I would need to create little jumpers to solder. So this is really helpful in knowing how to solder to these pads. But what I'm gonna demo is making this exact strip. So what I'll have in the end is a board where I can attach these as an output and another strip on a separate pin also as an output. So my lights are gonna be going away from each other, depending on what I'm doing, but that's what I wanna do. So I've got my strip here. First thing I wanna do, find that arrow going away. This is the end I'm working with. I'm gonna stick it in my helping hands here. And those three pads, the negative DI and plus five volts. I'm gonna use these jumper wires as the wires I'm attaching. They're just stranded wire. I have a lot of these jumpers, so I'm just gonna use them, cut them down. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tin these three pads here. I'm gonna add a little solder to the tip of my iron, clean it off. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of solder right on this pad. Oops, so it flows. There we go. There we go, and the last one. And I'm just making sure that I'm not putting too much on. And that they're not touching. So I've just put little solder blobs on each of those pads and that's gonna give me a working surface for attaching my wires. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do is use my wire strippers here. Um, I think I'm gonna do the 26 gauge should be enough. Um, and I'm gonna color code. So black, this black wire is gonna be the negative. The white wire is gonna be DI, a data pin, and the red wire is gonna be plus five volts. So first I'm gonna just snip the end off and then I'm gonna strip the wire. And I don't need to strip a lot. I can actually, um, I'm gonna twist it to get the threads all kind of prepped and ready to go. Nothing's sticking out of the ends there. And I don't need this much. This is actually way too long. I'm gonna trim it down just so that there's a little bit exposed. Use my helping hand. Tin the tip of this wire. So we're putting a little solder on there. And then I'm gonna make sure that this is a good connection. At least it can reach. Oops. There we go. And that looks good. So I'm gonna heat up this blob and drop this piece of wire right in there. There we go. 
only take a second, All right? So one down, two to go. I'm gonna do the same thing, snip off the end. Strip off some wire. Twist it. Slip it down some more. Just might as well do this one now. So I'm using uh, the wire cutting part of my wire strippers interchangeably with these little nippy cutters. They both work. This one is the only one that will strip the wire though. And this one is really, really good for, for trimming these ends. All right, so these are both ready to go. Since the data pin is next, I'll do white next. Make sure that's a good spot. I'm just gonna put a little solder on the tip of this before I attach it. Just a little solder on there. And then work with what's already here. Bam. Last is our a better angle. All right. All right, so the process is just tin the tip. Line it up. And solder it in place. I'm gonna put a little bit more solder right on that. If that happens, it's gonna readjust. There we go. So I'm just gonna heat this up, feed it in, and there we go. Perfect. What I want is to make sure that none of those are touching, and then for good measure. I'm gonna add some heat shrink tubing. I'm just gonna snip it down and, and thread it up there. All right, so I've got this little tube and this is just gonna keep my wires from you know, bending and snapping here. So I'll just put that there. I don't want to cover my light. Use my heat gun. Stopping to adjust it. So that's it. I could leave these ends as they are, or I could do what I did here, where I stripped the ends, uh, cut them down and then tinned them. So these would be ready to solder to a board. These would be more, you know, I could stick them in a breadboard or I could attach the blades to test. All right, that's it.